Have you always wanted to have a dog? Do you have a specific dog breed in mind? Well, if you do, better make sure that simply owning it won't land you behind bars. Today we're going to be taking a look at the most illegal dog breeds in the world. Number one is the most illegal breed to own, and yet also the most misunderstood. So stay tuned to find out just what that is. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Canary Mastiff. The Canary Mastiff, or Perro de Precio Canero, is a huge dog that originally came from the Canary Islands. Initially used as guard dogs, they are now considered excellent companions. That is, if they are well trained. Due to their ancestry, they are highly aggressive to anything strange to them, be they human, other dog breeds, or other animals in general. Training and socializing them is not that difficult, but of course any would-be pet owner should be very wary of its quite aggressive temperament. Even when well trained, their size and strength, coupled with their intolerance for juvenile acts, makes them not suitable for families with kids. But despite its trainability, it seems that certain countries in the world do not want to take the risk of having one of these gigantic beasts wreak havoc within their borders. This strong and aggressive breed of dog is illegal in Australia and New Zealand, with both countries stating they will not be allowing aggressive dogs into their respective countries, no matter how well trained they are. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. The Rottweiler. Another huge dog breed, Rottweilers also have a reputation for being aggressive when untrained and or socialized improperly. These burly guard dogs can weigh more than 120 pounds and are known for their immense strength. Untrained and under-exercised Rottweilers can be a nuisance at the best of times. They like digging and their deep booming barks are definitely not welcome, especially during the wee hours of the morning. At the worst, these large powerful dogs are often unmanageable and are fully capable of inflicting severe damage to property, other pets and animals, and yes, humans. The weird thing is, most dog experts don't think that rots are dangerous at all, except for a few exceptions. A group called the American Temperament Test Society ran tests to see how aggressive different dog breeds could be. According to test results, Rottweilers actually are less aggressive than Chihuahuas. Be it as it might, no one has ever died from a Chihuahua attack. Rottweilers, on the other hand, have a very grim reputation when it comes to human fatalities. According to a census for a 13-year period covering 2005 to 2017, Rottweilers caused 45 attack-related fatalities, which is second overall. This may be the basis why this breed is banned in Poland, Romania, Portugal, and Ireland. Number 8. The Tosa Inu. The Tosa Inu is a Japanese dog breed bred for only one thing and one thing only. Fighting. But not the kind that you might think. It is an amalgamation of different Western dog breeds along with native Japanese breeds specifically chosen to produce a big, heavy, and muscular dog perfect for fighting. Not death matches, but rather sumo matches. They can weigh more than 200 pounds and are considered by most to be gentle giants. They are quite sensitive and often quiet, but when they bark you'd be hard pressed to find another bark as impressive or intimidating. However, they require an experienced and authoritative hand to make sure they don't step out of line. They also do have the tendency to be overprotective when it comes to their owners. Not a good thing for a dog that's bred to be both heavy and strong. Because of their fighting lineage, advocates for the breed believe they are unjustly discriminated upon and is unfairly suffering from breed-specific legislation, which is the banning of the breed in certain countries. It is currently banned in places like England, Ireland, Australia, and many other countries. Number 7. The Doberman Pinscher. Often stereotyped as both ferocious and aggressive, Doberman Pinschers are also often said to be another victim of breed-specific legislation, making it one of the most banned dog breeds in the United States. But then again, even these legislations have a basis for them existing. Dobies are bred to be large, loud, fearless, intimidating, and willing to defend their owner from any attacker, both human and animal alike. These attributes make them perfect guard dogs, but not so much as general pets or companions. Although quite smart and easily trained, they rank among the more likely breeds to show aggressive behavior towards strangers and other dogs. Although they never did make it to the top 10 list of dogs breeds that cause the most attack-related fatalities in the world, they are still illegal to own in Georgia, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Wisconsin in the U.S., and in some countries around the world. Got all those in the first try. Number 6. The Fila Brasilero. 
Don't let this dog's docile looks deceive you. Also known as the Brazilian Mastiff, they are large and powerful dogs. In fact, they are the largest breed of herding dogs. Hailing originally from Brazil, they were used to herd cattle and other livestock. In fact, they have built a reputation of being excellent herd and guard dogs. But being herding dogs, they tend to be overprotective of the herd they are guarding, which may be disastrous to anyone they perceive to be a threat. They have one aggressive streak and once they attack, their uncontrollable nature makes it next to impossible for them to be stopped. They are also feared due to their unpredictability. You will never know when this dog will attack. On the bright side, this dog does really attack without provocation. The problem is sometimes you just don't know what Axie will consider as provocative. It can be eating out of the palm of your hand in one minute and then having your hand as a snack the next. This unpredictable nature is the reason why they are banned in Israel, the UK, and Norway. Number 5. The Doggo Argentino First bred, of course, in Argentina in 1928, the Doggo was taken from the now extinct Cordoba Fighting Dog, which was mixed with various other breeds, including the Great Dane, a Dog de Bardou, and Irish Wolfhound. Doggos have found many roles and have been trained for search and rescue, police assistance, service dogs, guide for the blind, combative obedience, schutzend, and military work. It is an intelligent and courageous dog with a strong natural instinct to protect its home and family. They are very social dogs and are happiest when included in all family activities. However, they make a strong distinction between familiar people and strangers, and this is what makes them dangerous. Breeder Antonio Norris Martinez developed this dog as a big game hunter, taking on such dangerous prey as the mountain lion. But of course, being such a large dog capable of bringing down other large animals, people have found other, more inhumane uses for them like dogfighting. Currently, the doggo is banned in at least 10 countries. This includes Australia, New Zealand, and Portugal. Number 4. The American Bulldog American Bulldogs are confident, social, ebullient, and lively dogs that are at ease with their families. They bond strongly with their owners and are happiest when their masters can shower them with time and attention. They have their origins in the Deep South, where it was used as a farm dog. Its specialty is catching feral hogs, which can weigh several hundred pounds and wield savage tusks. When cornered, these razorbacks are nasty fighters, requiring a dog of great strength and athleticism to fight them, battling the hog into submission and holding it down until the hunter arrives. Although they readily show love and devotion to those who they consider familiar, they are not as friendly, however, with people they do not know. Their ancestors were farm dogs who guarded the home, the livestock, and the kids when their master was away. Their overly protective tendencies have led to unfortunate events such as fatal attacks on humans. Currently, these strong-willed canines are banned in Denmark and Singapore. Number 3. The Caucasian Shepherd The Caucasian Shepherd can grow very large, weighing around 110 pounds at the minimum. They can also reach an average of 12 years of age, which is a pretty long lifespan for a dog. But this breed did not make it to this list because it's one of the heaviest or because it has one of the longest lifespans. It's here for one reason and one reason alone. The danger that it poses to us and to other animals. But I'm being too overdramatic. Let's meet this dog first and foremost. The breed originated from Russia and other European countries, originally used as a guard dog for protecting livestock and mountain regions. You've probably noticed this, but the most dangerous dogs are those who are bred to guard something. But anyway, they have become so good at their job that these dogs are even feared by some popular wild predators, such as wolves. Now, if their mere presence tells a pack of wolves to stay away, what do you think will happen if it does attack you? And here's another fun fact. This breed is totally banned in the countries where it originated from. Now, if your hometown doesn't want anything to do with you, then you must really have a bad reputation. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's featured dog is a breed primarily known for its size, bear-like looks, and of course its ferocity. But are certain countries preventing it from entering their borders? Let's find out next. Number 2. The Tibetan Mastiff Now, if there's a prize for the world's scariest looking dog, it will probably go to the Tibetan Mastiff. Aside from inducing night terrors, this breed is also one of the most expensive dog breeds in the world, so much so that owning one is considered to be a status symbol in China. They were originally bred to serve as guard dogs, protecting sheep and cattle from large predators, as well as its owners and their families. But of course, the most protective dogs in the world often turn out to be the most dangerous dogs as well. There was a highly publicized case in China back in 2013 where a Tibetan massive savagely attacked its owner's neighbor to the point that the neighbor suffered brain hemorrhage. This probably led to the breed being banned in many Chinese cities. They are also banned in the US, who basically hates all massive breeds as it has a ban on all massive breeds. 
kind of because America sucks right now. Number one, the pit bull. Were you really surprised at this one? There is no dog breed on Earth more polarizing than the pit bull. Much maligned, the pit bull was bred from early bulldogs and terriers for the purpose of, of course, fighting other dogs. At this task, he has no peer. Once a beloved family pet, the breed began to attract the wrong kind of attention in the 1980s. Prized for its strength and gameness, pit bulls became an urban symbol of criminal masculinity. Poor breeding and training has caused them to be responsible for attacks on humans, many of them fatal. This is somewhat anachronistic of the breed's history, as pit bulls were never bred to be aggressive towards people. The American Temperament Test Society, which provides a uniform national program of temperament testing for dogs, has found that pit bulls pass the test at a higher rate than many other dog breeds, such as Golden Retrievers and Border Collies. Some people think these dogs are somehow physiologically and genetically different from other dogs, but they aren't. This also wasn't helped in part due to Michael Vick, who had set up a massive pit bull fighting ring and gained them even more of a reputation for being vicious. Whether one considers them sweet-natured pets or deadly monsters, they are illegal to own in Miami-Dade County, Florida, Ontario, Canada, and many countries throughout the world. Honestly, leave that up to yourself, though. I've seen some of the sweetest pit bulls around, and I wouldn't expect them to be that violent. Do you own a dog man in other countries? Please let us know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear about them. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.